Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to this new Java tutorial. Today we're going to learn how the uh, while loop uh, works. So we're going to be using the while statement for that. Uh, so let's get started, okay? Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to write down while. So while uh, basically is a loop that uh, functions while a condition is held being true okay so inside this parenthesis we need to use a logical operation or any boolean value for example true uh, and then open brackets and inside these brackets uh, we're going to put some code that, that is going to be executed re repeatedly until these conditions uh, are not uh, met okay so for that what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create some variables over here I'm going to create a integer number which is going to be x and it's going to be equal to zero uh, now what I want to do instead of putting just true uh, directly inside the while loop uh, because that is going to be an infinite uh, loop I'm going to say okay while well, x uh, is greater than uh, zero we're going to execute uh, this code over here so over here what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to print out the value of x and uh, what I'm going to do okay now let's say equals uh, 100 okay so okay that's better and what I will do is that I will be uh, saying that x is going to be decreased by 1 okay uh, so x is going to be equal to 100 and this loop is going to be executing while this condition is met okay so this is really simple uh, you should uh, already know what is going to be the result of this program uh, if we see the result over here we will uh, notice that x uh, starts uh, being 100 and finally it will get down to 1 after that uh, it will reach uh, 0 and it will get out of the loop so it won't execute again okay so you can perform several operations over here this that doesn't necessarily have to be like a number uh, greater than or less than or equal operation but uh, we can also uh, use for example strings now strings are different uh, uh, when comparing for example what I'm going to do now is going to say I'm going to create a variable called uh, val which is a value this is a string variable and we're going to say that that value is going to be different than exit okay so if value equals exit and this is really tricky because uh, we will say that if value is the same as exit uh, then we won't be able to uh, we will be stuck inside the loop and we want to say okay I want that value is different than exit so we use the um, the negation uh, operation over here so we can negate uh, this result uh, value also needs uh, to be set down so what I will do right now is the following I will scan uh, that value with the scanner uh, so we can get it from the keyboard and I will say that it's going to be the next string and after that I will uh, display the value that we actually print down okay so I'm going to put value over here now uh, this is going to be like a little mistake because this value hasn't been initialized so what I need to do is that I need to uh, initialize that value with a null string uh, or empty string like that and after I'm going to run this program and see what it does okay so I'm going to put a uh, hello world over here we'll say hello then the, uh, that's the first string then the next string is going to be world you can also put hey what's going on and you will see the result print out okay and if you type exit uh, this condition will be held as equal so we'll get out of our program okay because the value is equal to exit now this condition is not met and uh, we will leave the program by using a key uh, string over here like uh, the way of breaking out of this uh, of the uh, while loop now there is another thing that you might want to know over here uh, we can also use an infinite loop uh, to do whatever stuff you want to do over here however to get out of a infinite loop we can use a break statement and the break statement uh, basically uh, cuts uh, the loop over here so 
if you read this piece of code basically this uh, while loop will make no sense because you only execute this once you run the code uh, you will get, I will show you in a minute, uh, you will get for example a simple message hello and then the program will end okay now uh, the, th the way to use the break statement is that you actually do some check for example using the if statement and you can say if um, value is the same as exit then you can get out of this uh, of this loop okay so if you put inside exit you will use the break statement and break out of the while loop so let's run this code and see what happens what you will get over here I can write hello or world nothing will happen and if I write in uh, exit I will get out of the program because I will uh, execute the break statement and finally end my program so I hope you guys like this video if you did uh, don't forget to click on the like button below uh, or you can also leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so see you guys in the next video bye bye